name is Ben Murdoch. I'm a research assistant professor here at the University of Michigan, and my research primarily focuses on the immune system in ALS and how ALS contributes, or how the immune system contributes to ALS progression. Uh, we recently published a very exciting paper that we're uh, very proud of in Frontiers in Immunology. So one of the major obstacles clinicians face in treating ALS is there are very few effective drugs that are available for ALS. The first really is all has been around for 20 or more years and really only extends lifespan by three months or so. And another drug that was released and approved a few years ago has a similar efficacy, but the problem is that it's just, it's very logistically difficult to administer. It requires multiple infusions over the course of a month. Patients who are already in a wheelchair have to come into the clinic again and again and again. And so it's really not prescribed that much. So right now there's very few good treatment options for ALS. The drug we're experimenting with is called tofacitinib. It's an FDA-approved JAK STAT inhibitor. And what this drug, drug does is prevents a polarization of the immune system. So instead of suppressing the immune system, it just prevents it from kind of going in a destructive pattern. And instead, it kind of maintains that, uh, that protective uh, programming that we think may be beneficial in ALS. And so what we're doing is we're seeing whether or not it can suppress the pro-inflammatory activity of cells known as natural killer cells. So we think that NK cells are actively contributing to ALS progression, both by inducing inflammation as well as destroying the motor neurons themselves. So this study really was looking at whether or not tofacitinib could not only suppress total cell numbers in NK cell populations, but also whether it could suppress NK cell activity. And that's exactly what we found. We found that not only does it suppress NK cell levels in the periphery, but when we take those cells out of a person or out of a mouse and put them in a dish, it actually suppresses their activity. It suppresses their ability to induce pro-inflammatory programming, and it suppresses their ability to actually kill other cells. So this is really the first kind of major step in bringing this drug to ALS patients. It's already FDA approved for other drugs or for other indications, other diseases, um, but it really no one's looked at it in ALS. And so our findings suggest that it actually can potentially be beneficial in ALS. So this really represents the first major step towards bringing it to clinical trials. And so we're really hoping that this drug will be a game changer when it comes to treating ALS in the future.